What's up guys and welcome back to Soft Final Resolutions and today we're talking about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone crashing to the desktop without giving you errors or it's giving you a DirectX error, a blue screen error or just in general every single crash that's out there right now that's happening to your machine or if you can't even get into the game to play it i'm going to show you what you're going to need to do to be able to play the game without it crashing or just in general for you to be able to play this game in general so you can run the game all you're going to need to do is follow my guidelines and you should be good to go now i do know that a lot of people do play this through steam obviously and then a lot of people play this through battle.net i am a battle.net user so this is where i play my game through right so just follow my guidelines and you should be good to go but please please Listen carefully to what I'm about to do. You're going to need to follow my steps as is. People that's playing this through Battle.net, just jump through the Battle.net version of how to fix this. You're going to come to the little gear icon over here and go to scan and repair. This is the first step you're going to need to take. Scan and repair your game files, okay? Make sure that every file on your game is running perfectly fine and everything is okay and that there's no corrupt files inside your call of duty folder at this very moment and when you scan and repair what it will do is it will automatically fix that corrupt files for you and then the game might work perfectly fine this is one of the methods that can work for you i'm not saying it will but it can so we're going to jump through a couple of steps okay after you tried this and it doesn't work make sure that you check for updates please go ahead and do that Make sure you check for updates, and if you click on check for updates, and it says that everything is up to date, checking for updates, it says waiting. There it says updating. Like I said, it's important in general for you to take all of the steps I'm about to show you if you're a Battle.net user like me. Okay, now, the next step is this. You're going to go to options and go to show and explorer. All right, I'm going to move this to my other screen, and this is where my Call of Duty is installed. It's installed onto this drive. As you can see, it's highlighted. So if I click on this drive, that's where my Call of Duty is laying right now. Okay, you're going to just right click on it open it up open the folder that's inside here and go to this folder over here that's about seven gigs big you're going to scroll down to where you see it says call of duty you're going to right click on it and say properties and go to compatibility mode now this is what you're going to need to do you're going to click on disable full screen optimizations run this program as administrator click on change high dpi settings check this box make sure it says when i sign into windows high dpi scaling override select it and say application say okay say apply and say okay now what you can do is i'm just going to minimize this you can go ahead and play your game and see if this works if this does not work for you okay and you're still getting the errors or you can't get into the game and your game is still crashing this will be your next step since i minimized this file i'm gonna go back to it here's it it's very easy to do you click here you go to show an explorer and it will open up this folder over here for you this will open up okay now you go one back so if it opens up this folder you go one back to be on the drive where your call of duty is installed you're going to right click on it and you're going to say rename now as you can see mine says call of duty modern warfare 2 and warzone 2 and modern warfare 3 new now the reason why it says new is because i tested this to see if this works and it did so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete the new so you can just type in there if you want to type in modern warfare 3 new or just type in modern warfare 3 next to it or whatever you want to rename the folder to it can be whatever just rename the folder you're going to close out of this and come back inside battle.net like this now as you can see it says play now it takes a little bit of time for your machine to actually realize that the file in general has been renamed or the folder has been renamed now if yours says play or install or locate the game or in general it just says play like mine right now because it's taking forever to show me install or locate the game if it shows you this you're going to click here and click on exit then you're going to relaunch the battle net and then this is what you're going to need to do as a step okay so it opens up like this you're going to go to call of duty and it's going to say install and locate the game now i had a lot of people comment just listen to me please Listen carefully. I had a lot of people comment on my Modern Warfare 2 fix video that they ran into this problem over here. You go to locate the game, right? Go to where the game is installed on which drive. This is the drive my Call of Duty is installed. Now, a lot of people just went to go ahead and click on this folder and say select folder. It's going to say this. I had comments down below of people saying, yo dude, my game is not locating the game's files because it says this folder doesn't contain the correct version of the game. Now this isn't how you do it. 
This is how you do it. You say locate the game, go to the drive where the game is installed, go to the folder that you just created, double click on it, then click on the folder that's inside there. Say select folder, and then it will look like this. It will say waiting, initializing, updating, and then all of a sudden it will say play. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the way to go to fix Modern Warfare 3 crashing, Modern Warfare 2 crashing, and Warzone crashing in general for Battle.net users, all right? This is how you fix it. Now, if you renamed the folder, ladies and gentlemen, if you renamed it, this is what you're going to need to do. Go to Options, go to Show and Explorer, go to where the game is installed, obviously. It will take you straight into the game. You're going to come inside here, scroll down, go to this COD, go to Properties, go to Compatibility Mode, and then make sure that these are disabled. Make sure that these are disabled if you just renamed the folder. You're going to come and disable them. Now, if this one worked for you without renaming, then this will be your fix. Now, if you rename the folder and that works for you, you need to come back inside here and make sure that all of these things are unchecked. And then say apply, say OK, there's your Call of Duty, close out of it, and just click play, and your game will run perfectly fine for Battle.net users. Ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you as a Battle.net user, make sure to leave a like and say down below, I'm a Battle.net user, this worked for me, thank you so much. Leave a like on my video, leave some feedback. It will be much appreciated if you give me feedback knowing that this worked for you as a Battle.net user since I'm a Battle.net user. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump straight into the Steam version of fixing this game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this is the Steam version. I know a lot of people play the Steam version as well, and a lot of people play it through a different launcher. So like, for instance, Steam. So this is how you're going to fix the Steam version. You're going to right click on it and go to Properties, and then you're going to go to Installed Files like this. And you're going to click here where it says browse now it will open up a folder for you and then it will be obviously steam common and then call of duty hq you're going to go to common one back and then that's your call of duty over here that's where your call of duty is installed call of duty hq so when you go inside of it this is how it looks for you right this is how it looks for you on the steam version now the first step to do to see if this can actually fix your game for you on steam is do the exact same thing right click on it go to properties go to compatibility mode disable full screen optimization run this program and administrator change high dpi settings check this box i sign into windows check this box application okay apply okay then you could just close out of this or minimize it and then close out of this as well and play your game if this does not work for you, if it physically doesn't work and you see your game still crashes to the desktop or you're getting DirectX errors or whatever the case might be, this will be your next step. So obviously I'm just going to close out of this. This will be your next step. You're going to right click on it again, go to properties, go to installed files, go to browse. I'm just going to open this up and then open this up completely. And then there's Call of Duty HQ. Go to common. You go into... On the same drive, if you have enough space, please make sure you have enough space. Right-click here, make a new folder called Call of Duty. You could just call it Call of Duty. You can name it anything you would like to call it. Just make a new folder and you know what it's called. Okay, so now we've got the new folder that has nothing inside of it. And then your Call of Duty HQ. Now, this is what you're going to need to do. You're going to take this Call of Duty HQ folder, right-click on it and say Cut and paste it inside the Call of Duty folder you just created, or whatever the name is for that folder. All right, now it's been moved. So Call of Duty and Steam, in general, doesn't know what just happened, okay? So Steam doesn't know what you just did in the background, what you did in the common files. Steam doesn't know what you just did. So when you click play, it will not work, okay? It will not function, because it won't find where your game is installed, because you moved it, okay? Now, you're going to right-click on it, go to Manage, Go to uninstall and say uninstall. That means you completely uninstalled the game. But don't worry, you did not uninstall it because you moved the game somewhere else. Now you're going to click install on Steam. Make sure it's the same drive yet again, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure it's the same drive. You might have multiple drives. Make sure it's the same drive. Click install. Let it do this. It will start downloading and it's reserving the space and it's going to start downloading for you like this all right so as you can see it's downloading right now at this very moment and then if i go here and i go to downloads it is actually starting the download and then this is where it's just downloading in general right now what you're going to need to do is pause it right go back to your library go to home and then go to where your game is it says download now you paused it so right click here 
manage, uninstall, uninstall. Now, this is what you're going to need to do. You're going to go to the drive where this game is installed to and where you moved it, all right? Where the physical game is laying. You click on File Explorer, go to where your game is installed, and then go to Steam, go to Steam Apps, Common, and then here we go. We are back to where we were, all right? This is how you do this. Now, you moved Call of Duty in general to this new folder that you just created. Now, it will make a brand new one like this. That's why I said install, let it start downloading, pause it, and then uninstall it. Because it would make a brand new folder for you called Call of Duty HQ. Now, you're going to go into the new folder you just created. And there's Call of Duty HQ, as you can see. You're going to open this up. And then you're going to take everything inside here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it takes quite a while to get to the right to the bottom of this installation. All you do is click on anything inside here and press Ctrl and A to highlight everything. Right click on it and say cut, go to common, go to Call of Duty HQ that is empty, that it just made a new folder for you, and then paste it inside here like this. This is what you're going to need to do. You're going to paste the game inside here. So you're moving it back into a brand new file that Steam has created and folder that Steam has created for you. Now, once this is done and it looks like this and it's finished, you close out of it, you open up your Steam, you click on install, same drive, click install, now it will not download. It will allocate the game. It will validate it like that. It's validating the game files. Now, you move the files back into that folder that it originally was in. Now it won't download it. Now it will just validate and make sure that there's no files missing, no files corrupted, and it will do a slight download once this is finished. It will do a very small download. That very small download is something that the game is missing. And that's why your game is crashing on Steam. It will automatically start downloading something very, very small for you. Now, don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, you are good to go. It will not do like a current or anything because it's just validating. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how the Steam version works and it works perfectly fine and i can promise you ladies and gentlemen this works perfectly fine for steam users now ladies and gentlemen if this actually helped you for battlenet or steam make sure to leave a like leave a comment there's a super thanks down below in my video you can click on that little heart do a super thanks if this actually helped for you it means a lot to me become a member on my youtube channel it means a lot to me the support the feedback the likes the comments it means a lot to me by getting feedback from you guys it really does i'm trying my best to help the community as best i can ladies and gentlemen as always Hope this helped you and peace out.